for your entertainment. Without question, the best midway of any state fair or exposition in the country. It is tremendous. A lot of horsemen are planning to visit after today's racing program. Speaking of which, the fifth race is on the track. Win, place, show, exacta, and the day's first trifecta, the Illinois State Fair Colt Stake for trotting fillies and mares, age four and up. Let's take a look at the field. Number one, Princess April, owned by Richard Warlow, Jr. of Kiwane, trained by Jack DeRoos, and Charleston's Jack DeRoos is in the bike. Two is New Lima Beans, owned by Tom and Mary Alice Tietrich of Jeff, Illinois, trained and driven by Tom Tietrich. Number three is Shirley Connection, owned by Jerry Robinson of Carrollton. He's the trainer. Mike Brink is the driver. Number four is Gum Corner Lane, owned by Ruth Burkett of Ellery, by George Knockmoose of West Salem, trained by Delbert Burkett, Connell Willis in the bike. Number five is Never Jamie Sue, owned by the Lakeview Lawrence Stable of Laura, Illinois, trained and driven by Doug Graham. Number six, Queen Jackie, owned by Enlow Management Incorporated of Keville, Kentucky. Trained by Jason Enlow with Randy Gerald to drive. And seven is Jody's Pride, owned by Michael Conti of Park Ridge, Illinois. Trained by Duncan Price. The driver is Steve Searle. Post time in less than five minutes. Princess April off stride behind the gate. They're off and trotting. Never Jamie Sue is off stride at the start. There goes Gum Corner Lane out for the early lead, followed by Shirley Connection. Queen Jackie up on the outside, then New Lima Beans toward the rail, heading on to the first turn. Jody's Pride is rough-gated, heading on to the turn, and she's on a break. Jody's Pride, Never Jamie Sue, and Princess April have all broken stride since the start of the race, and they are the three trailers heading to the quarter-mile mark. Gum Corner Lane leads it by a length and a half. Shirley Connection in perfect position in second, 29 and 4 for the first quarter. New Lima Beans is racing in third. Queen Jackie is trotting in fourth. The top five go single file. Never Jamie Sue is right there with them. Then a gap of 10 more lengths to Princess April, who's next to last, and a margin of three more to Jody's Pride, who is the trailer for the move up the back stretch. Gum Corner Lane leads it by a length and a half, two lengths now to Shirley Connection, and then New Lima Beans, who travels along a comfortable third. Queen Jackie is racing in fourth past the half mile mark and a time of 101. They race past the draw gate. Never Jamie Sue is fifth. Princess April has caught the field. She is sixth. Jody's Pride is right there now, but she's still seventh, 10 lengths off the lead. Heading on to the last turn, Gum Corner Lane leads it for Illinois Hall of Famer Connell Willis, but Shirley Connection is right there in second position as they approach the three quarter mile mark. Queen Jackie moving up on the outside in third. Now to take second by a head. New Lima Beans in the outer flow behind her. The rest have ground to make up. Gum Corner Lane hits three quarters and 132. One would think she would have plenty of gas in the tank after that three quarters for Connell Willis, but Queen Jackie is putting her to the test. Shirley Connection needs room in third. New Lima Beans is wide in fourth. They're moving by the eighth pole. Gum Corner Lane put to a drive. Queen Jackie is there. Here's New Lima Beans storming down the center of the track. Queen Jackie between horses. Gum Corner Lane to the inside. Shirley Connection needs room. New Lima Beans is charging. Here's the line. Photo finish. It'll either be Queen Jackie or New Lima Beans. That's a photo in two minutes and a fifth. Owned by Enlow Management Incorporated of Keville, Kentucky. Trained by Jason Enlow. Randy Gerald with the winning drive. Number six, Queen Jackie. This four-year-old speedy primo filly was a winner earlier this year at Lexington, Kentucky at the Red Mile in one minute 59 and three-fifths seconds. Jim Graham of Wilmette, Illinois, member of the Illinois Harness Racing and Strategic Planning Council, makes the trophy presentation. Let's see if we can grab our winning driver Randy Gerald, real quickly. Randy? This mare has been here before, but she never seemed to like the track too well, but today she looked all right. Was it as easy from where you were, and did you think you'd won the photo? Oh, I didn't know about the photo, but uh, the mare had had a little trouble finishing the miles, and Jason put the trotting hobbles on her two starts back. She's been solid as rock ever since. Equipment change made a difference. Have you ever won a state fair championship here at Springfield before? 
Elimination, not the championship. I tell you what, you're a champion now. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Randy Gerald of Kevill, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, the rundown is next. <laughs> 